Hey guys, we're here, Lake Palestine Resort, right here in Texas. I cannot tell you enough about this resort. It's one of the coolest resorts I've been to because it's completely self-sufficient. It's got the tackle shop, it's got the ramp, it's got the brand new cabins over here to rent, it's got an RV park right here, and the best part about it all, it's right here on Lake Palestine. I've been hearing all this hype about how these great big giant fish live in this lake, and I've been chomping at the bit to get down here, and finally, I'm going to get to. I'm meeting up with Rod in the morning. He's a mechanic here. He's an avid fisherman right here, and it's his home lake. I cannot wait to get out there in the morning. But keep in mind, Lake Palestine Resort, guys, it is a perfect vacation destination for the entire family. They've got live music on the weekends. It's uh, family friendly. They've got the grill open on the weekends. They've got everything you need right here. Well guys, we're gonna get out there because I can't stand it no more. I gotta look at this lake and get ready for tomorrow morning. Let's go see if we can get them on the hook. I've spent most of my life chasing. Chasing success, chasing money, chasing respect. Truth is, nothing has brought me joy like being right here on the water. Rod in hand, hook on the line, chasing crappie. I am a crappie angler. These are our stories, and this is On The Hook. Hi, I'm Rod Silman. I'm a crappie angler, marine mechanic. Welcome to my world. My dad got me into it as a kid, and my passion for it just exploded once I you know, grew up. You get to leave all your problems that you're having at home at home and come out here and just get a peace of mind, laugh, you know, joke around, and catch something to eat. The love for crappie fishing is where the guiding come in because nothing beats catching your first crappie and feeling that thump. So I want to make sure everybody gets a chance to experience that. There we go, there we go. Let's get this party started right here. Well, that party ended fairly quick. What'd you just do? I lost it. You did what? It was so big it fell off. It was so big it fell off. What are you doing to me over there, man? Huh? I guess she got camera shy. <laughs> All right. Oh. Yeah. I ain't gonna let you lose that one, Rod. <laughs> 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 Let's see our first boated Palestine fish right here. Oh. This thing's been feeding. Yeah. Nice fish. Already starting to get a belly on it. Have they been feeding here? Uh, are they already starting to feed up for a fall down here? Yeah, those cooler nights had them feeding tough. Looked like it swallowed a golf ball right there. And that's what it is. Uh, they've been out here feeding on his shad, feeding up for uh, the fall pattern there. What's the uh, limits here? Uh, 10 inch minimum, 25 per person. 25 per person, good deal. Now, uh, is there any special uh, regulations in the winter like they have down on Fort? No. Okay, because you ain't gonna be real deep. No. What's our average depth in this lake? Uh, it averages 45 foot. 45 foot? Yeah. Now what we're fishing right now is just the edge of the channel and some standing timber. Yeah, it's just a little flat off the, off of technically the main creek channel. Okay, so this is the main creek channel work. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Great place to start, great way to start. LifeScope is the hottest tech to hit the crappie industry in a generation. And now you can have absolute independent control of your transducer with All Aboard Marine's all-scan electric mounting system. Scan with your transducer in one degree increments or use its hand control option. With just the flip of a switch, the hybrid control syncs with the movement of your trolling motor or lock it out and use our foot switch. You're in complete control with All Aboard Marine. To find out more, visit allaboardmarine.com.
electronics aren't cheap. And that's why Cornfield Fishing Gear engineers quality mounting equipment that secures your investment and gives you peace of mind. Fish more and worry less with mounting equipment from Cornfield Fishing Gear. Cornfieldfishinggear.com. PTG Outdoors is family owned and sells, installs, and services your favorite electronics, as well as all the tackle you want too. We even service kayaks. Next time you're at Grenada Lake, stop by or find us at ptgoutdoors.com. On the Hook is presented by Ozark Rods in partnership with All Aboard Marine, Cornfield Fishing, Crappie Monster, Driftmaster, and JB's Fish Sauce. The yeah. reason I fish these shallow flats like this is because this main creek that runs through here is more like their highway. Okay. And in the fall, they use this highway to run up here and feed. And when it gets cold, they run right back out. And sometimes you can come in here and catch a limit so quick. Sometimes you got to fight for it. But if you pick it just right, it's game on. Now, is there other river channels that it runs into, or? Yeah, this is actually the main river channel, but it joins Kickapoo Creek and turns into the actual Natchez River from there on out. Okay. You know, that's one of my favorite spots to start when I try to break down a lake, is the main river channel, and any flats you can find off the side of it, if it has uh, standing timber on it, that's gonna be my go-to spot when I am breaking down a river or a lake, uh, which uh, Palestine, is it an upland reservoir to where they draw it up and down? No. No, it's, it stays, okay. That's another key point to pay attention to anytime you go to a new lake, is whether, whether it's an upland reservoir or not, because they got summer pool and they got winter pool, and you need to plan your trip around that water level. Some lakes, it's a lot better to get there at winter pool, and some, you can't fish at winter pool, like Grenada, for example. If it's down to winter pool, I don't know that you might be able to get in one ramp on that lake, but you want it when it's uh, the water's up just a little bit, just below summer pool. Now, you know, uh, Wachita River? Yeah. One of my favorite places in the country to fish, but there's a lot of them little bitty stumps. Uh, Darbone. They got marked channels. Do not run outside them channels. If you get outside them channels, it's a slick idle. Depends on which side of that stump he's on. He's on a fish right here, and it's on a bigger stump. <laughs> oh, pig! That's what we come for there. That's what we come for right there. You want to do it for me one time? Sue, woo! <laughs> oh, calling it some pigs, Rod Silman. There you go. Lake Palestine's finest. Yeah, they're feeding. Yeah, it's got a bit, it looked like it swallowed a golf ball. That one may be more towards the softball standards, but <laughs> I mean, a nice hammer of a fish. This lake is one of the most beautiful lakes I've ever been to. I mean, the, the sunrise right here, all the docks, the flats, and the channel that have standing timber, so whatever it is you wanna fish, you can. What I was saying there as he was dropping on that, uh, using the active imaging, that fish was on one side of the stump, and it was blending in with the stump. Rod was running his bait around the stump, trying to find him, he was initially, we saw the fish, but then after that, he was kind of fishing blind to where that he was just the same way you would before this. You'd come up to a stump, you drop, you go all the way around it because that fish could be sitting on one side or the other. His bait came down, the fish was on the other side. Their eyes never made, met, they never fell in love. He run it around it, love at first sight right there in the boat. Yeah. Good job, man. Character you're fishing, it's like the white cropper? Or the white cropper. White cropper. I saw a decent one. Well, I thought I did too. But he went behind that limb, that pole timber. Oh, 
Oh, the paddles are down. That's why I didn't go back. Oh, I just brought them up. Oh. Oh, there he is. There he is. Eat it, baby. Come on. He's coming. Boom! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I knew she was back there. Yep, she was back there. She's a little bigger than what I gave her credit for. Yeah, she definitely was. Grab my sunglasses. The sun's gonna get bright. Hopefully it don't get too bad. I've got a tree that usually holds a tube, a big tube. Uh-oh. She sits right in the fork every time. I seen her Sunday when I come looking. I didn't bother. Well, you know, and I think that's what gets a lot of tournament anglers. They come out and they see the fish and they just cannot stop themselves. They've got to catch it. Instead of just being able to see it, it's there. That crappie's gonna be there in two days at the same spot. Stop catching them until right. tournament day. Drop. Dang, there's a couple in there right there. Yeah, because there's... Oh, I missed one. You're to your right. Oh, oh, there we go. oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Good and... Uh oh, missed. Okay, so... He's against the boat. Get in the net. Don't you rod me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now that right there, anywhere in the country, is a slab, bull. Yes, sir. Gosh, dog, right? Those are babies. Those are babies? Yes, sir. Man, what y'all got in this lake? Bunch of alligator crappie? Shoo. That one there's been caught before. Probably from me. <laughs> <laughs> this could have been one of the ones that short strike this while ago. Its mouth is ripped out right there. That's where another hook has been in this fish's mouth before. So somebody's either caught and released this fish or... One that got away. It was the big one that got away for somebody. We're focused on the mouth right here where it's ripped out. See that hole right there? Oh, I just got crappie slime all over my screen. Right there, it's been hooked before, right there. Pro-built jigs has your back, no matter your approach. Whether it's boat flipping, long runs, dock skipping, or just for fun, Pro-built jigs has the hookup for you. The Hook is presented by Ozark Rods in partnership with Pro Built Jigs, PTG Outdoors, Skinny Water Marine, and Sore Mouth Tackle. Did you get it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I was gonna say flip her in if you can. There we go. There we go. Might have got all wadded up, but we got her in. Yeah. Well, let me rephrase, you got her in. You catch them, 
and I'll stand here and look pretty with them. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Man, she choked it now. You know, I've always thought of Palestine as being a great fishery, but I didn't know it had fish the size of it in here is what that it has. Yeah, it's, a, it's underrated. Let me just model Rod's fish for him there. Nice 12, 12 inch fish. Oh yeah, I must model real good. <laughs> Let me just uh, follow his example and throw it back in. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Nice. Man, they're fat. Back's good and healthy, good and slimy. Pull them back home. I about dropped your fish in the water. Did you see it? Huh? Before I got to it, which is fine. I just wanted to show it off first. Yeah. Which that's typically what I've been doing. Just catch and release. Yeah, dropping them back. Yep. <laughs> oh, dropping them back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the great thing about uh, Palestine being so big is, I don't know if you can hear the wind or not going over our heads. It's blowing 15 mile an hour plus. It's white capping right out here to the side of us, but there's plenty of little cuts and coves that you can get in to hide from that wind. We're getting a little bit of the wake off of it, but it's really not bad at all. So even in bad conditions, Palestine still offers a spot you can get out of the, the wind and the elements. Yeah, especially a south, north or south wind, you can get out of it. Now, Palestine lays north to south or south to north, straight up and down. So those straight south winds are the worst. And uh, what is it we got a wind today, Rod? Uh, south at 10 to 15. <laughs> south at 10 to 15, <laughs> yep. But hey, it's working out and it's working out great. It's about to work out even better. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, I think one of them little, uh, I thought a that little, little one got in the way. Get you. Come on, baby. Turn around there. This fish has got its head to the trolling motor, and Rod's trying to get it right now. His bait's right behind it. He's trying to get it in front of its face so it can see it. Because sometimes uh, in the, the summertime, they get uh, where that they'll, or they'll nose in, and if you can't get that bait right in front of their face, they can't see it to eat it. And that's why when you're spider rigging, if you'll notice, you'll catch more fish going one direction than you will the other. It's because of the way that the fish are set up on the timber, and you've got to get the bait in front of their face. And a lot of times, uh, the faster you go, the better, because think about it like a dog laying on the porch. If he sees the mailman walk by, he's just gonna raise his head and watch him as he, as he walks by. If he sees that mailman run by, that dog has got him. He's out, he's lit out after him, and he's gonna chase. And that's why a lot of times, if I'm not getting bit, I'll try to speed up and push harder. Yeah, that's why I like to cast past them and let it swing to them. And cast past it, let it pendulum in. That's how that I catch most of my fish is on a pendulum. What is that? That's still, that, uh, yeah, that's a giant right there now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Come on, baby, come on, come on. Oh my God. <laughs> Good job, dude, I'm gonna fall in the water. <laughs> oh man, we gonna make a TV show yet. I might have to go swimming. Woo! That is a fish now. Jeez. Look at the back. On Look it. at the back on that fish. That thing is a tank. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. East Texas finest. East Texas finest right yeah. there. Nice job, you man. Got it. Yeah, I got it. Hey man, you catch the fish, I'll take care of them. All right. <laughs> Woo! That's what you come to East Texas for right there. Oh my Lord. Now Rod, do people, uh, do they long line 
pull crank baits down here or is there too many stumps? Uh, there's been a couple people have done it, but predominantly they're tight lining. But the dock shoot pretty good shooting. here too, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, they're gonna just mostly vertical fish out here. Okay. And there's all kinds of standing timber. Yeah, you got pole timber, boat art trees, some of everything. Pine trees. <laughs> Pine trees, yeah. But I mean, you can get out there, you wouldn't have to have any electronics to fish this lake. No. You could go out there and jig for miles. Yeah. And then, do they stock up on the trees, like seven, eight, 10 of them? Yeah. Okay, so they'll Especially get on Especially in the winter time, they'll stack up and you can probably pull 30 fish off one tree. Pull 30 fish off one tree. Wow. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna be making a trip back down here. All right, we got a target at 20 feet here. I've got the power poles down. Rod's getting ready to go up there and smack it, force feed it. She'll go to the bottom on you. Well, we're on the top of her. Okay, there's your bait. Come on, get her, got her. There. <laughs> oh, tank! Tank! Shoo! Oh my goodness, what a tank. That's what it's all about right there. That fish just come out of the river channel. See how, see our color difference? Yeah, the, the difference in the colors where the other yeah. one's darker and that one's not. Yeah, she just come up out of the deep. line out of water before it gets hung up. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is insane. Yeah. Nice. Check out that. That's how I should be built one day. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I got something right here. Hold her straight up. All right, turn sideways. Wow, that's what I'm talking about right there. Oh my goodness, why have I never fished this lake before? Wow, look, can you see the white caps out there? And it's just barely doing anything in here. Most people are at home, we're out here hammering them. It just goes to show high winds won't stop the fishing. Oh, oh yeah, oh doubled yeah. Doubled up. Doubled up. Oh, come here, big mama. <laughs> I love it, I love it, that's all I can say. Y'all, I love this place, that's all I can say. Dude, if y'all just had some alligators and some eagles I could see, I wouldn't want to go nowhere else. Y'all got any alligators in here? <laughs> <laughs> now that's Whoa. what I'm talking about. Same tree sitting there, one over the top of the other. They both ate. You got me again. This one looks like a Lake Fork cropping pretty much. A Lake Fork it looks like it come from out of Grenada. Big old bucket mouth. Jeez, that is unreal, man. That is unreal. I can't thank you enough, Rod, for uh, Having me down here, taking me out here, showing me a, uh, uh, showing me every, I've saw less than a one percent of this entire lake, and that right there is what we got to show for it. Oh man, you're welcome back anytime, and buddy. I'm definitely gonna come. Thanks, dude. All right. Till next time, guys. We are leaving uh, Lake Palestine. He is one heck of a hammer on this lake, Rod Silman right there. Check him out, uh, Silman's Marine. If you ever have any issues down here, he also guides down here. We are on to the next lake to go see if we can't put some more on the hook. <laughs>